Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here <clears throat> with a very special kind of uh, video. Um, it's a little bit tough to make this kind of video um, um, because I, you know, I don't know why. I guess you'll you see if it's if you see why I do the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to just go on. Um, it's basically something that happened to me. It's like a, a I call it a vision, but I don't know that it is a vision. I've never heard of anybody having anything like like this, experiencing anything like this, and I have never experienced anything like it. Um, but I don't know what else to call it. Um, so, but I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna try to not to give all of the details and take it too long. So I'm gonna jump right up to almost the moment where it started. With our Father's help, Lord, Father willing, I'm going to get this story right, and I pray for his help, though, so that I can get it right, you know. Maybe this has happened to some other people or, or something. Or maybe you know what I'm talking about, but. <clears throat> All right, so I found myself uh, towing a guy from the neighborhood, local guy from the neighborhood. Um. This is real life. This is this was really happening. I was driving down the road, um, approximately 35 miles. I had to tow this individual. I was in my suburban, and the vehicle that I was towing was like a Chevy Trailblazer or something. And we had chained um, his chain, uh, the other chain, up up on the tra Trailblazer on the front two hooks, like made a big old. Uh, uh, thing on the front of it and then we used my chain and hooked to it to hook to my car and so it would have some distance between the two cars and I pulled this car he was pulling his car about 35 miles and I was doing over 35 miles per hour um, um, I think I was doing may have reached 55 he said that I was doing over 70 but he was exaggerating a lot of other things too so um, so we're going to say anywhere between 55, 75 miles per hour, I found myself scared, 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 if for lack of a better word, scared that I was going to, um, somehow lose control of the situation and I was going to cause injury to my friend there. I was going to, I actually thought I was going to kill him. I thought, I thought... And I, and it was been a long time since this happened. Maybe a year. It's over a year. Maybe two years. Maybe even a little longer than that. And um, I wish I had to wrote some stuff down, but I, you know, it was one of them things where you 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 don't know if you ever really want it to happen again. But you know, I found myself in this situation where I thought he was going to die. I thought I was going to, you know maybe make a mistake or he was going to make a mistake but anyway i thought the scenario was going to be that he was going to be found dead in that car um chained to the back of my car and i'm sitting there having to explain all of this to the police and everybody you know you know and i thought that was going to be a life-changing experience I, I got scared i thought i was about to ruin my life after i killed my friend and you know i, 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 I and so i panicked <clears throat> Now, this is where old coach fight panic. I start praying and I ask for the father to take complete control of the situation. I asked him for to take control of the, my body, the vehicle, everything. Just, you know, I asked him to, to I told him I, I didn't really think I could handle it. You know, no, I, this is all in a silent prayer in the, in the truck driving down the road. Like I said, maybe 35, 55 miles per hour. And... I asked him to take control of the situation. Okay, now that's where, I, I don't want to say reality, but something happened. In that, in that moment, thereafter, as I was riding down the road, something happened to me. Something happened to me. Now, I've tried to explain this to my wife a number, a, a number of times, my children. And they all were, they all are taken aback by it. And I am too, you know, but I did try to explain it to them. I did explain it to them the day that it happened. And um, <clears throat> I wanted to come out and, and, you know, 
and explain it to some other people to see if any like I said anything happened to to anybody else but okay so going back to the story like I said I just that was the reality part I was I was or uh, driving down the road 55 and I asked for help but what seemed to happen and this is very hard to explain it's very hard to explain and I didn't write anything down but um, what happened was the best way I can describe it is if I moved inside of myself as if with okay so I should write that part I moved inside of myself with the one that was moving in as the real me and the one that was driving the truck and pulling the friend and you know all of that was kind of like what I was moving into it was the oddest thing I've ever experienced in my life all of a sudden I knew everything about the situations that I was in stuff that I had never thought about or you know anything before start to started to um, become a part of my awareness on a level that I could then apply it in in my life for instance the people at the church the people at the local church I, I tell this the story of this church you know right up the street from the house you know uh, donated over thirty thousand dollars you know first church I ever taught in you know all blah 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 long history church blah 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 the members uh, particularly the leadership of the church were explained on a level like revelations like revelations level like 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 individuals could be placed in positions and saying you know this one is playing this role that one's playing and I ain't talking about the antichrist or nothing big like that I'm talking you know like in you know chapter 2 and chapter 3 kind of stuff revelations chapter 2 and chapter 3 kind of stuff <clears throat> okay now that was the edification part it was like it's it's, it's like this was made, I was made aware of this. But then there was this feeling associated with it. There was this brightness associated with it. You know, like the, the world turned into this beautiful golden color, you know, kind of, you know, deal. It, it, like I said, it was very strange. It's, it only happened once. It lasted, you know, I'm guessing, you know, less than a minute. I don't, I'm not sure because, um, um. It it, it 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 came like it went. It went like it came. It wasn't, you know, no big deal or nothing like that. It was kind of just a like a feeling that came over me, um, kind of, you know, deal. It wasn't, you know, not much else to it, but I, but it was a huge deal. It was a huge deal. It was something that really, really it was really, really um strange and I guess I've said really, really enough. So <clears throat> anyway. Um, that's it for the dream. That's that's what happened. It 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 was like I moved in to myself. Okay. Now, you fast forward all the way up to recently. You say, "Well, that was years ago. It hasn't happened since. You know, I barely remember it. I don't remember any of the details of the you know the people that were explained. I wish it. Like I said, I wish I had wrote it down because you know it's like it's like." he explained them on a spirit level like who their spirit man it's like he it's like i was introduced to my spirit man and my spirit man started talking to me um about the officials of the the local church there um as far as their spirit nature like the co-pastor the assistant pastor the the one that's you know wanting to be the pastor blah blah, blah all and, and including the pastor was all laid out you know, or, you know, kind of shown, you know, who they are, you know, kind of, and, and, you know, some of the significant, yeah, some of the significant people in the neighborhood, too, in the community, too. It wasn't just the church. I said it was everybody, you know, 
at least the significant figures were you know laid out and like i said there was this glow there was this this aura this this uh sensation of peace and you know well-being but it was like i was moving inside of myself and that was the oddest part about it it, it was like it was like i was the spirit man i was the spirit being and but i was moving into my shell like 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 this this what i had a shell like like i guess the the, the best way i got the best the, or the only way that i can try to give the feeling is is as if like like my clone showed up like like as if everybody on the planet has a clone and all of a sudden my clone showed up at my place and he he knows everything that i don't know he has all of the the missing bits and pieces of life and everything that's going on and he's ready he's 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 ready to you know um um um, you know, he's, 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 he's ready to, to fill in the blanks. He's ready to be the other half of me in some kind of deal, you know, giving, leaving me with the feeling that, you know, of course, everything gonna be all right now. And this dude didn't show it up because, you know, it, it happened, it, it, it happened the other day. And I know that I know I'm, I'm confusing, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, keep going. <clears throat> it happened the other day, the other day. Um, there's another video that I'm, you know, thinking about, uh, um, making public so you guys can see it um the day that it happened but what in essence what happened was i did a um, a charitable deed and then this same feeling came over me again now this is the first time that it's happened in oh like maybe over two years but and and it did not give all of the detail or it wasn't like a the first time we had met kind of experience it was kind of and it was even shorter this time it might have only lasted five seconds this time but what it felt like was I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the word cloning my clone came close to me and basically turned the lights on this glow of this beautiful area came on this time i'm looking at my property instead of the highway driving i'm looking at my property and he's giving me this sensation that he's here to help he's going to he knows everything about what's supposed to happen on my property i spent a, I, we i have a, a off-grid homestead this is something i've only watched about on television we've only been at it for about four years i'm you know well over 44 years old you know so i'm been used to a different type of lifestyle for a long time so this is all new and you could imagine there's you know times when i struggle on what i'm supposed to do and i do a lot of praying and i'm praying you know you know what am i supposed to do this feeling comes over me all of a sudden like about five like i said about five seconds that basically made me feel like you know don't worry about it we got this you know i'm still wondering who is the we you know what is this where is this coming from but you know i don't know i, I guess i feel like i need to cut this off right now we had 13 minutes and 33 seconds